you are targeted by second place while making a breakthrough in first place. Things can get ugly real quickly. Now, steady your nerves, because you are taking his place. If you are get assaulted by two red shells, what would you do? A. Block it with shells to avoid direct hit. B. Purposely getting hit, create invincible time to escape. C. Lure red shells to the edge of the track. Here's what you should consider. You have two items to block shells. One has stripped from first shell. When you block the first shell, the second was still behind item box. Additionally, the distance between you and the second was fast. When second is this much behind, the possibility of getting triple red shells can be around 20%. The single shell is up to 40%. Think fast and choose wisely. Make your choice. So what would you do? With the threat of red shell is approaching, you could use your remaining items to block it, but nobody told you there will be no more shells. As mentioned earlier, when you block the first shell, the second was still behind item box. Even if you could block first shell, there will be more. If you chose A to block shell, you choose wrong. Since blocking is one way to get to the grave, you might purposely let yourself get hit to create invincible time. But less than 3 seconds of invincible time. Refill of red shells might lead you to doom. Or even worse, you let yourself get hit meaninglessly depending on the next scene. If the luck doesn't turn on you, it's the end of the line. So, what should you do? There is a way you can raise red shells without using items. Some track a steep angle of corner which can provide you with emergency barrier. Stay close to edge of corner. Use mini jump to get over the gap. If the timing is perfect, you can erase shells without using items. This technique is called red eraser. If you master this technique, you can block red shells without using any items, just like these. It is difficult to do this technique, but this may be your best chance of survival.